Hello, everyone, and welcome to the, uh, if my math is correct, I believe the 201st or 205th, maybe, game of MLB The Show posted on YouTube.com slash Rex. I am your host, Sean. I've been playing as the Seattle Mariners all season long, day and date with the uh, initial schedule through the playoffs. We gave you every playoff game that you could possibly need or want. Uh, we gave you the All-Star game. We gave you the Home Run Derby. All kinds of content coming from the franchise mode in this game. Um, and uh, it could all end tonight. I haven't played the best, obviously, because we're down 3 nothing against the Dodgers. The Dodgers are a very good team. Um, struggled sometimes with decision-making. I'm overcorrecting at the plate. I'm swinging too early. I'm just not catching up to the fastballs. I'm not taking advantage of their missed pitches. It's uh, it's been kind of a mess. We're down three nothing. We're two and zero so far in postseason elimination games. Um, I don't know what other kind of elimination games there would be, so that was kind of a redundant sentence. Nevertheless, still two and zero in those games. We came back from a two one deficit against the White Sox, even at two and two, and then win at home in game five. Um, I think my math is correct on this, but I, I could be missing some games. So it's either game 201 or 205. Either way, there's been a ton of content on the channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. It sounds like I don't think I'm going to win this game, mainly because I don't think I'm going to win this game. We're going to try and figure it out. Tony Gonsolin, he's going to be on the mound today, 1-0 and with no ERA. Justice Sheffield, he's going to pitch for the Mariners, 2-0 and with a 1-4-2 ERA. As uh, we look to extend the season, happy Halloween, everybody. Thanks for coming back uh, from Trick or Treatin', Trick or Treatin', and uh, watching what might be the horrors of the Mariners' season ending. If we win today, we'll have a game tomorrow at home, and then we'll have Wednesday off, Thursday, and Friday we'll be in Los Angeles. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's uh, that's that's it. Let's jump on in here. We're going to go see Foam Green at least one last time. We wore our Sunday best yesterday. It was not our best. Justice Sheffield on the mound. One. I don't know why I keep saying one last. I got to have some confidence. Kyle Lewis not playing well. I don't love it. Right-handed pitcher here. Marte. And then... Toro... In the five spot, in the one spot, flip those guys. We have a hot hitting quadri, uh, quad, quad of players right there. Okay, here we go. We're going in. They Trey Turner, Chris Taylor, Mookie Betts. Uh, Max Muncy, Will Smith, all batting super hot. Look at those averages. 410 for Trace Herner, 421. They're 108 and 54. I was a little confused about the numbers last time. It didn't matter. It was mainly to make a point that I knew this series was going to be tough uh, going into it, and it has proved to be uh, an absolute disaster. The mistakes have been magnified due to the fact that it is, this is it. This is, this is the largest stage, and we are, uh, we are crumbling. We beat the Dodgers 4-1 last year, but that is obviously a year ago. They're better. They're different. We're not playing quite as well. And uh, this could be it. They scored seven runs in game two, and we have scored six runs in three games total. When a team takes care of business with such dominance and gets out to a 3-0 lead, I just can't see this series lasting much longer. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes. But hey, coming back to win the series has been done before. First pitch coming your way next. All right. Justice Sheffield could be on the mound for the final time this season as our uh, final starting pitcher. Two starts, a 2 0 record with a 1 4 2 ERA, 12.2 innings pitched, 18 hits some other numbers that I didn't quite get to Trey Turner has absolutely demolished us and we have a sinker in for strike number one welcome on into game four baseball coverage 
should the Mariners win this game, will continue tomorrow, 7 p.m. Pacific time, right here on the channel. Be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you're notified when I post new videos. Hey, look, a better start than yesterday. Chris Taylor down. Oh my god, really? That was that bad? Breaking ball drops in for a strike. I don't love those backdoor breaking balls. They can so easily go and wrong. Here it comes. That sinker didn't really sink the way I wanted it to. Slapped Fouled down. away. That smash towards center. Makes Lewis though nice with a nice play. Back. I, th I thought I heard a disc moving around in like a PS2. I'm sure you know the sound of the the disc moving with the laser reads it. Hey, I'm fine with that miss. It, I didn't love it. All right, this is key. We need to get out of these innings. We have two outs. Pound the strike zone. And fouled off. One and two now. Ugh. Out to short. Crawford handles. Zips it to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. You're just starting Bottom pitcher for the Dodgers. On the mound, Tony Gonsolin, Tony Gonsolin one start, 1-0 and record. Six innings of uh, no ERA ball, three hits, a whip of .50. No walks, eight strikeouts. Dodgers have not lost a postseason game yet this year. They are currently 10-0. 3-4-3, three, three. yeah. The batting looks absolutely abysmal. Four-seam fastball is topping out at 96, a slider at 89, a splitter at 85, 12-6 curve at 82. Here's the strike. Dom T. Williams put a two-run blast up on the board. A one down. Now one and one. Good slider down. Uh, in the eighth He's inning so yesterday, but we uh, put myself too far behind. Got to pay attention to the pitch count, the Next stamina. For a strike. Left hand and the uh, the turn through the batting order. Oh, no, under the four-seam fastball. Noisy. Really struggled with this uh, the 95-mile-an-hour fastball. I've been late on him consistently. Batting second, the center fielder, Kyle. This is Kyle Lewis. Oh, way too early on the splitter. So aggressive with Kyle Lewis. I get so excited. He has so much power, and I just can't do anything with it. I mean, that's the splitter. That's what I want. Next pitch downstairs, and that is ball one. Kicks and fires. To the right and that is a 12-6 curve. It just dove on me. It looked so good and then just fell. Mariners go down quietly there. Scoreless after one. This is the worst possible time to be in a in a this bad of a slump offensively. the first pitch misses for ball one. 
And he deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Frazier collects it. In plenty of time. The first one up, one down. That is good. The catcher. Will. The batter now will be Will Smith. First pitch. There's a nice sinker at low in the zone. And now the lefty. Ah, that's a bad slider. Really bad slider right there. That was over the heart of the plate. That one probably should have been crushed. And that's where it gets a little confusing. Some of the home runs that they have hit haven't been terribly located pitches, but then they get something like that where I, I goof it up and they don't crush it. Too many sliders. We're going to actually get an out here. That was terrible base running. I don't know what they thought they were doing. I threw it to third pretty instinctively. That is a bad pitch. A little early on it. A little excited here. Two outs. And a strike in there. Second inning here, no score. Slider didn't quite slide out of the zone the way I wanted it to. Bounced up the oh, middle. and we're not going to get there. So that's two straight two out hits. Well, it's one straight two out well, hits. hits. In a row for him here. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do I mean, they might have cost themselves a run here. Crawford just not quite not quite able to get it. Next to hit, Sheldon Noise. Oh my god, that should have been crushed. Sanchez on second. Rios at first, two out of the inning. We are actually going to get ourselves out of this inning. Okay. Hey, that's a good jam to get out of. Pretty sure the Dodgers cost themselves a run there. Because maybe you send them home on that, uh, that hit that they said. Second straight hit with two outs, even though it was inaccurate. Oh. One hit to right. Shit. It. Late on it. Fuck. It's caught for the out. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, no this guy was ready to hit. Abraham. And now for Seattle. Abraham oh. Toro. High fly ball right there. That one out yes. as well. Son of a bitch. There's two away. Off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go Keith deep into this Ryan. game. Hey. Brian that is fine. Just you know what? Just let it go. Let's that one go for a strike. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. Smith gets it to first. All right. Well. Uh. One, two, three, go to Mariners. We'll move to the third with no score. Back at T-Mobile Park, and now the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. The center fielder, number 35. Sheffield, back Cody to work. Bellinger. And there's a foul ball. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. A wind of the pitch. 
Wow, a little surprised to see him go down like that on three straight sliders. There we go. Did not like the slider. That would have been four in a row. One down, base is empty. Trey Turner is, now he turns and heads I for mean, second. just destroying us. Just the absolutely annihilating us. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Put it all That's also a there. terrible slider He's location. Not sure why you want that as the lead pitch here. Now, Chris Taylor. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Thompson Williams makes the grab. There's no game. reason for him to advance here. That's out number two, so a sack fly does nothing, and he's obviously fast enough to get around. But just probably about anything past the infield. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. High fly ball out to center field. We are going to get a little lucky here defensively. Whew, this is, I talked about it yesterday. Playing with fire. We've given up four hits. We're able to keep them off of the, keep them, you know, away from home plate. We get a bit of a break with the, the terrible ball. running decision to third base. Deep breath in, deep breath out. See if we can. That's a good, okay, good take right there. Wind of the pitch. There's a strike. That's a good take as well. I'm looking a little high in the zone. He really likes that splitter, though. Maybe I can get him to like it a little too much. That's a bad swing. Uh, I'd like to get him to like it a little too much, maybe, and make a mistake. Okay. Looking low in the zone here. In there for strike one. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. You're way too late. Next pitch in the dirt, and it's one and two. In the air, right field. There it is. I mean, that's what you're looking for. Hit. Just something to kind of. A little too far up on that well, he one. He wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a Not little bit, none. maybe spread out. The but he got the job done. Right. Love to try and drive this pitch count plus, or up to up to 25. That's, that's fine. I was looking low. Murphy. The base runner at first with one out. Inside. Oh my God! They plunked him again. Frazier got hit yesterday. A couple of home runs for Dom T. Williams. Can he put another one on the board? Maybe. For the Mariners, he popped out his first time. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. At the belt and fires. And there's the strike. Yeah, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Oh, this ball's no, down. stay, 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 stay. No, that's a good that's a good play on my part. He doesn't have a ton of speed. And he threw it up the line towards the runner. I don't really want to risk it. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering upstairs. 
And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Oh, bad swing on the slider. And that's strike two. And a pitch. That's ripped into the outfield. Big Levin Greenlee. Safe. And they take the lead. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Gets him on the board first, coming through with two RBIs on that swing. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here's Cattell Marte, the designated hitter, number four. Cattell Marte. Hit pretty well. That's a bad swing. Bellinger on the move. Diving try, but it falls in. Base hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Now batting. The right field. Base is loaded with one away. And now, Hanager. Mitch Hanager. Late swing fouled off. Offering misses. Ball one. One, one. one out. Base is full. Oh, it's a double play to end the inning. Over to Taylor. Over to first. Actually, it's going to be safe. Wow. We are getting very lucky here. The game is being nice to us right now. We should enjoy it and not insult it. A little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. And now Abraham Toro. Over one, he flat out to right this first trip. The first baseman. Abraham. I wanted every bit of that, and I I sold out to that splitter. And I sold out to that splitter again. This one, that one's uh, giving me some trouble. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit run score. I mean, that's that is kind of what I was talking about. I want him to throw it just too many times. He threw it, I think, three straight times. I was able to get on top of one. Right on top of it. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Oh, that was actually a 12-6 curve. Interesting. Okay. First offering misses the mark. Hanniger at second. Toro on at first with two down. Oh, that's a terrible swing. No trouble awful, Let's awful, go awful. God dang it. Nine men come to the plate, four score. Three innings in the books here in game four. Really it's disappointed the with the way that ended. Hey, we got five hits, four runs. Every we bat around, basically, and back in Seattle, out of the fourth. Here comes Max Muncy. The first baseman. And a pitch. Muncy. Swings and misses. Strike one. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Left hand hitter waits. And he hits a ground ball right side. Frazier over to pick it up. They get the out on Muncie. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And up to the plate is Will Smith. In there and it's 0-1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Now batting left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Now the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. 
Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Ooh. Next one off missed the inside. inside. Damn it. And it's a ball to strike. the ground the throw to first and that is that Dodgers what is happening do we fall into a time warp here nothing. fall into the matrix are we playing the wrong dodgers team welcome back john chabby and chris singleton with you and leading off the bottom of the fourth jp crawford the shortstop jp crawford The wind of the pitch. Oh, I was looking for something off speed there. Makes the grab nice play after the I was looking for off speed. And there's one down. Up next for Seattle. The catcher. Now it's John Murphy. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Oh, why not close out those stupid other... The 1-0. -oh. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Oh, it's in the warning track, though. Fuck. the warning track. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and baseman. for his team. Adam Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Mariners, Adam Frazier. Hit by a pitch his first time and then came around to score. There we go. There we go. So the two out knock extends the inning and sends them back to the top of the order. Also, we got that pitch count up where I was looking for it. Not exactly the way I was looking for it. We had we got a lot of luck there. They weren't able to turn the double play. Uh, they had a couple of weird fielding choices. I think maybe one of the guys actually even dropped one at one point. Dom Thompson Williams. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. But this is what I want to see. If I can get out to a lead, if I can have a positive start. That was inside. I'm surprised I didn't hit him. Frazier off of first with two away. It's a little easier. The 2 0 is in That's all right. for a strike. There's a strike. Okay, I gotta be really wary of the splitter. He's loved throwing it. He's throwing it out of the zone. It looks really good out of the hand. This is ah, the that's right on the bottom there. They take the force out, and that is the end. Okay. Mariners leave one. I am they not super upset with nothing. that swing. I, like it's fine. The very definition of a fine swing. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth, and now here's the Dodgers' designated hitter, Edwin Rios. Edwin. The Dodgers Rios. in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. That one called the strike. There we go. Strike one. They've Getting got some nice calls lineup. here. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. They had a foul ball. This to third. Oof, almost get that throw up. Hold on to it a little bit too long. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind it with another ground ball. Good execution. So digging in, Sheldon Noisy. Little dribbler up along third. Throw over to Toro. Beautiful play from Hayes. Set down to the top of the fifth. 
deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Cody Bellinger steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. We're going to give him just another steady diet of slider here. More of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. In the air to left center. Thompson Williams racing over to make the catch. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Kyle Lewis. The center wide to kick the pitch. That one drifts inside. Next offering is in for a strike. Uh, okay. I guess either way the count would be one and one, so it's nothing to be too upset about. Two and one. And a pitch. Strike two. And the righty deals. On the ground the first. And it gets by him. The throw into second. To That's second a double. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the Wow, they are bringing out a left-handed pitcher here, and he's going to face Cattell Marte, who's already good from the left-hand batter's box, but is somehow even better. From the right-handed batter's box. Out of the bullpen, we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Uh, Four-seam fastball tops out at 94 with a curveball at 82 with circle change at 86. Two-seam at 93. First offering and it just misses. Of course, I get so amped with that power. I haven't been able to be effective with it. Wing, and that's ripped towards right center. Betts racing over to make the catch. And he makes it up to third with one away. We can try and manufacture a run here. Now batting right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger will hit next. Mitch Hanniger is 0 for 13 here. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Lewis takes his lead at third with one away. Foul off left side. Here comes a pitch. Ripped on a line. And they take care of Hanniger. All right, well, I'll, I guess I'll take the manufactured run. I feel terrible that Hanniger is like 0 for 13 or 0 for 14 now. It's a very weird situation. And up next for Seattle, Abraham Toro, one for two. First pitch just misses. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Oh, Bounds that's not what I wanted. Turner handles, slings it across. Play made. That ends the inning. Five innings complete. It's the M's five and the Dodgers nothing. Here at the ballpark, Trey Turner at the plate. Yeah, he got for the yeah, the shortstop, Trey Turner. The pitch. The I mean, he might end up being That's World Series MVP. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confident to move through the at bat. The 0 1. 
Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets mm. to an 0-2 count. Oh, that got him on the mound. Not in yeah, he's safe. Great effort. 99 speed. I and I wish I wouldn't have hit Sheffield. Taylor, the next to hit. That one's in there on one. Well, I really thought he was going to go. In this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. And he deals. Towards uh -oh. first and it's through for a hit. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. Go back in quickly. First what are we third time through the lineup? Is that starting to Okay, it's kind of starting to be the issue. That's all right. We have a we have a Justin Dunn. We have an Andres Munoz. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not a great circle change there. First and second here, no outs. Right side. Hanniger pulls that one down. Didn't think he down. would try and tag up. Again, I mean, maybe that in that scenario with only one out, you try to manufacture the run, try and advance him. But anything past the infield, he's probably going to get probably going to get home. In there, and it's 0-1. Several 0-2 counts in this one. This guy out there has just been attacking the hitters. Really good job so far. Next offering misses. And it's Couldn't one get him one. to bite on that the one. The adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end That's up a way swing. off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Runners at first and second with one gone. Damn it. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Run comes in from second. It's 5 1. Well, That's a little frustrating. Uh, it's, I mean, an 0 2 count or a two strike count. That slider's out of the zone, but it's probably just doubled or tripled up on. And Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Smith, the next to hit. Okay, we have two outside. pitchers ready. And here it comes. On the outside corner, that's strike one. Working down to the zone to start the at bat, looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high, maybe you get a mistake. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to second. Beautiful. Beautiful. We give up the one run, but it's fine. There we go. Trey Turner's ripping us apart, but we're able to turn two there. All right, that's it for Sheffield. Back in Seattle, here's the third baseman. Keep Ryan Hayes. Leading up for the Mariners, the third baseman, Haney, back to work. Good eye right there. Bullpen activity starting up now. Phil Bickford looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Vesia, a left-hander, also throwing. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. That's way out of the zone. What are you doing? That's a strike. Back to back fastball. Oh, thank God that I had a strike to play with there. Four seams and two seams, all we're seeing here. Ah! Was that another four seam fastball? Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. I mean, nothing to be too upset about. It. It's a. I think it's a good take. Maybe not with Up two strikes, middle. but. Off balance throw in time. Two up two I mean, what's the best that's going to happen is a foul ball, I guess, and stay alive. Maybe we'll get a little lucky. Get a nice call from the umpire. Not that time, but. There's a swing and a drive. 
That one carrying. Oh, at the warning track. track. Nobody left for Seattle. Fuck. They're up 5 1. I haven't forgotten. All set for the start. Justin Dunn. Justin Dunn's going to come in here. He'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Seven innings and five appearances. We have uh, we have high speed behind him. We have, uh, depending on the score, we have Seawald. We have Castillo. I'm surprised that one missed. And he deals. This to center field, Lewis. That's fine. It, we'll fly out. One away. And up next for Los Angeles, Edwin Rios. Edwin Rios. In there. Oh, here we go. In the zone. Strike one, baby. Oh, no. And it's God gone. damn it. He leaves the yard to right, and they cut into the lead. It's 5 2. The fucking oh, slider was, was so bad. Ugh, look at that disgusting pitch. I do believe we have to see three batters with a pitcher before we can change him. I guess I could probably just try and switch him out. The other way. That's a nice play by Toro. Here's Cody Bellinger. That was a terrible circle change. Just a hanger. Thankfully low enough in the zone he didn't get too much under it. And a pitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. I saw it. That one I saw. I was like, oh, that's terrible. Whew. Okay, well, that was enough for Justin Dunn, huh? Munoz, do you want to come in and try and do a little better? Fucking Christ. He's into the game with the bases empty. Your attention, please. Now pitching Number 54. I had mentioned it the other day. Okay. I'm I'm getting real frustrated, real anxious Here's here. Turner now. He swings and fouls one off. I'd mentioned it the other day that most of the home runs we'd given up to the Dodgers were like fairly well located pitches, with and the exception won. specifically Swing of uh, Justin Dunn hundred mile an hour fastball over the absolute heart of the plate, and I threw two of them. I'm sure I'll tighten it up on this next pitch. On the ground to third. On the run, throw to first. And or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was Munoz. It doesn't matter. Was in this well, I guess it does matter. Not once, but twice. Fuck me. It's now 5-3. Those were two absolutely horrendous pitches. Second one I saw, first one I didn't realize was going to be that bad. But that, that fastball was awful. The second baseman. The wind of the pitch. Frazier. And there's a strike. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. Yeah. Going to as he waves at that one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Okay, lucky to get a piece of that curveball. In the air, out to center, Bellinger moving under this one, and there's one away. Back to the top of the lineup, and stepping in is the speedy Dom Thompson Williams. Gets under and pops it up. But is it enough? Yeah, it's enough. A little bloop shot right there. 
Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, the base hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Digging in, Kyle Lewis for the fourth time tonight. And that's in there that one's fine. I like that. I like that take right there. That's way on the inside. I'm going to leave him up. We did only bring Munoz in for like a couple of pitches. Might be worth just bringing Castillo in regardless. Falling behind hmm. two and one. Good speed on the base. Yeah, try and figure out what to do. Bat. Don't need to worry about it at this well, exact second. Wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Really want to take advantage of these at bats. Lewis, Marte, Hanniger. At the belt and fires. Oh, Bravo we're not going to do any of it because it was a freaking circle back. change. Inning over. Oh. Eighth inning coming up. It's the M spot. I was hoping we'd be able to get one of those runs back. Back at T-Mobile Park at the top of the eight. All right, we'll leave Munoz in here. He's only thrown three pitches. Okay, would you like to give me a strike there, buddy? I am not throwing that fucking location. Are you kidding me? That's a bad pitch. This is off to a bad start. Okay, there we go. And a pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Righty delivers. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next pitch off the plate. Is that now far off the plate? At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. That one the other way. And out number he bailed me out of that. That was a terrible swing. That was a walk. Here's Mookie More Bates. than likely. to third fires across the diamond two up two down here at the top of the eight now Max Muncy at the dish one for three first pitch and that's in for a strike yuck and that one moves the speed The 1-1. One, one. Foul ball there. Lace down the line. Could be extra oh, bases. Be. Now he'll turn for second. And that's Jeez. gonna get into the corner. And into second easily with I mean that was an easy double anyway. <laughs> I guess I thought it was going to slip around the corner. Well, not even, I guess. I thought it was going to work its way around the corner a little bit more. All right, Castillo's going to come on in here. Oh, that ERA is scary. I trust him. I believe in him. Righties are just batting so well against him, and we have a guy that has ripped us apart. At the dish right now. I like that the there's the runner on seconds just there. And here is Will Smith. That one's in there on one. I think it was a little more elevated than I wanted it. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Going two now. 
There we go. Okay, we're making some good pitching changes here. I, that was kind of the plan. Was like, all right, we're gonna. Uh, oh, by the way, Will Smith was up to bat. That was not who I thought it was. For some reason, I thought it was Trey Turner. I was like, well, oh, great. This guy's about to ruin my life. We're making good pitching changes here. Welcome back, bottom of the eighth. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. The designated hitter, Cattell. The pitch. Marte. That one misses. Okay, that's ball one. And the pitch. Swing oh, right it was right short. to him. 95 power, but I Turner couldn't get a pass in the shortstop. Lead off man Damn it. Out here in the eighth. Now batting. The right so here's the cleanup hitter, Mitch, Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. Out to short. Fuck. I can't get Hanniger a hit in this World Foster Series. Muncie. That sucks. They take care of Hanniger for the out. Abraham Toro now at the plate. Abraham Toro. First offering misses the mark. Oh, that curveball had a lot going on there. Take this quick moment to schedule. And we'll warm up Sadler. Kicks and fires. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Next pitch is outside. The count now two and two. That one ripped. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Too bad I couldn't get that with uh, O for Mitch Hanniger. And now for Seattle, Key Brian Hayes. First offering, and it just misses. Come on, Seattle. And that's down and away. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. The pitch. That misses the zone. Three and O. Oh. JP Crawford's on deck. Toro off the first with two away. Oh, oh I gave him. Out. That was. Fuck. To Muncie, that is the inning. That was. Uh, Seattle, that was a walk. Their five three lead. Closer, All right, here we go. Paul Seawald, our closer. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Now the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. That's it there. 4-1. And ball one. The 1-1. One, one. The 1-2. The Stays the line. Okay, maybe, maybe don't keep going back to that. Low roller to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. All right, one down here in the ninth. That's a big out. 
Looking for that save here. And now Edwin Rios. He's already home. Oh, why, why, why? In there and it's on one. No. That is bad. Difficult guy to get hit. Stop. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against. He wins. Jesus Christ, that was awful. Sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day. Almost beat myself twice there. Look at those, look at those slider, the slider. Pitch one and two. Red and green, dead fucking center. Very lucky that the second one wasn't rocked. He didn't even take a swing at the first one. Left hand batter waits. And that one oh. got He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, in the box, he's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. Little chopper rolls foul. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. And the righty deals. And he grounds one to the right side. We will just take the one. No problem. No problem. I think that's a good. Uh, that's a good. Good throw. You could see Frazier grab that. Was spinning around. Would have taken him an extra second to get his footing. Get the guaranteed out. Deal with the consequences later. Jesus Christ. You've got to be kidding me. Next one just misses. Off the corner. I really don't want to throw the slider. Down to their final strike. Stays alive. Oh my god. How can I not get that? Is just one strike away. A foul ball Put him away here, huh? And it's second. That one drilled. Left Jesus. Left. Oh my Lanta. Hey, we're gonna win a game in the World Series. Holy shit! What the hell happened there? The game was nice to us. Uh, Justin Dunn's going to go ahead and just stay in the bullpen. He is not pitched well. I wasn't worried about that ERA. I trusted him a lot. Um, but obviously, you know, I'm in control of everything, so it's, you know, it's my fault. The the four-seam fastball, for sure, I saw was going to be a problem. I didn't realize how off the, the slider was. Um, all right, we will, well, we won't get swept. That's good news. We haunt the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers on this Halloween night. 5-3, your final. And we'll live to play another day here in, uh, in Seattle. We did uh, not make this easy on ourselves. I had mentioned that I, I probably in the last game or maybe even in this game, but uh, I mean, when the struggles are, I believe it was in the last game, but the, the, when the struggles are there, it's just it's so bad. We, you know, we're, the, the series is 3-1. We have scored fewer than four runs. Uh, in those three games, every single time. You saw this, the graphic before this game even started. They had seven runs in the second game. We have scored six total runs in that series, or in this series before this game started. We got off to such slow starts. We're usually, you know, we're, we're falling behind. We're, it's not going well. I'm not seeing it well. It's like it domino effects into, into each other. And kind of like that. One of those uh, Yankee games, game four, game three, game four, whatever it was, 
It was a 9-8 victory, and we just could not stay clear of that. And that kind of happened here. We gave up one in the sixth. Hey, no big deal. Took the guaranteed out. Not a problem. Happy to do it. But that seventh inning, Justin Dunn came in and did not do what I wanted him to do. We, you know, for the most part, had done a pretty good job of avoiding major damage on really bad pitches. We gave up two terrible pitches there. Um, that slider, again, I didn't realize it was going to be that bad. The forcing fastball I knew was going to be rough when I saw how awful it looked. And it's just like, well, this is happening. Um, but even even we have a five-run lead, we still, you know, let them make it close. We get four runs in the third, don't really take as much of an advantage of the bases loaded situations as I would have liked. Uh, probably should have gotten some more out of that. We get one more in the fifth, which is nice. It's a manufactured run, and we needed all of it. You know, it's it's just it's frustrating. It's frustrating when it's just like I just would like it to be. You know, hey, we're a relaxed team. We're coming through. We're we're cruising through the rest of this game. Instead, um, it uh, it doesn't quite go like that. What I did like though is I did a much better job personally of just a staying calm at the plate, but B what I was actually going to say was uh, some smart pitching changes and, and decisions there. We brought in some different arms to stave off some extra runs, even though, you know, the, the Justin Dunn experiment didn't really work today, even though it has worked most, if not all season long, um, you know, we, we still, we still get a victory. So we won't get swept. That is good news. Kyle Lewis is your player of the game. He was two for four with a double and knocked in two scored twice. Abraham Toro was two for four with a ribby Dom T Williams, two for four with a run. Adam Frazier, one for two, excuse me, with a run. He got hit again today, which is pretty wild. Tony Gonsolin, he gets the loss four innings pitch, seven hits, no strikeouts, no walks, five earned Paul Seawald save number five. Justice Sheffield, he gets the win. Six innings pitched, seven hits, one strikeout, no walks, one earned. A um, couple of solo shots from Rios and Bellinger. Trey Turner was, again, two for four. Ugh, come on. Muncy, two for four, a double, knocked in a run. We're not, I mean, we are on life support here. Maybe not a great term to use. We're on the ropes. There's a sports term that's less, you know, dramatic. Uh <laughs> We're on the ropes here. It's not been a great series. Uh, we had the lead in that second game and just fell apart completely. That first game was just not a good game at all. Um, some mismanagement, not great decision-making uh, from that perspective. And that was uh, uh, one of those whoops, one of those slow starts from the at-bat perspective. It just dominoed into terribleness in game three. And I thought, you know what? We're kind of just dead in the water. Maybe that's what I needed. Maybe I needed to just go down Oh three so that I would get my crap together and then win four in a row. No big deal. We will have game four for you tomorrow, 7 PM Pacific time, right here on the channel. Uh, we'll advance the day. We're going to probably put our main gun on the, on the mound. And that is going to be Robbie Ray. He's going to take on Dustin may who doesn't even have a record and no ERA. There is a distinct possibility Dustin May has not even had to pitch in this playoff series. I don't remember seeing him. They've they swept in they swept in three. They swept in four. This is the first time they've had to go to game five, and that is the first loss that the Dodgers have had all postseason long. Robbie Ray is two and one with a one three eight ERA. He uh, started this series, and uh, that was his only postseason blemish so far. Game five of the World Series tomorrow right here on the channel. Be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you'll know be noti you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for maybe the last game of the season. I don't know. Tune in. Nope, oh, missed the button.